Hello and welcome to Zell. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This is a 3D action fantasy sci-fi adventure game in, well, in the vein of Zelda. More like Link to the Past than Breath of the Wild. And this video is kindly sponsored, so yeah, let's get going. We're going to be f uh, facing a bunch of time-bending puzzles, and we're going to attempt to figure out exactly what is happening in this world. And i got to say, I actually really enjoy the aesthetic of this game. And we also have the ability to jump. Oh yes, we have the ability to jump. Technically, the, this, is, um, this is not a game where you can jump autonomously. You will be jumping in places that require a jump but you yourself are not going to be jumping specifically so it's more a case of solve this puzzle fight this boss uh do battle you know flick this switch and so on and so forth and i'm currently using a controller for this uh there are going to be rebindable keys for the keyboard but for me personally i like playing these kinds of games with a controller and hopefully it's going to be real nice for me to do that so anyway I have played quite a lot of this um, initially I thought to myself I was just gonna play it for you know five ten minutes just to kind of get an idea as to what's going on in the game uh, I got carried away and I think that's a really good sign That excitement down a notch, would ya? Oh, what the? And who are you anyway? Nice to meet you, chap. My name is. Wait. I am. I. Who am I? Oh no, 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 no! This can't be happening. I don't even recall this place. Am I in a freaking forest? And what the hell am I doing in a crashed spaceship? If I'm something like a fancy astronaut, I seem to really suck at it. All right, breathe. There is an explanation for everything. So, one thing after the other. Where the heck are we, little guy? The garden? Whose garden, exactly? Cell? Just X-E-L? It doesn't ring a bell, but it seems you know what you're talking about. All right, little buddy. Let's check out this garden and look for that mysterious cell person. Let's hope they have the tools to remove this rock that hurts like hell out of my face. Because me getting carried away usually means I really enjoy the game. And that's exactly what is happening here. But yeah, you can kind of see what's happening thanks to the subtitles, of course. And the main character is completely voice acted from what I can tell. And I actually really like the voice acting. I feel like the voice actor does a good job. And yeah, she's having a bit of a problem here because this is a save point. Yes, indeed, this is a save point. So I am going to be saving... And uh, this game apparently does not have autosave. It does not have autosave. So you're going to have to save at these chronal pillars, and then you're going to be able to appear there and go back there whenever you, uh, you know, whenever you can to, uh, you know, respawn or reload or whatever the case may be. And obviously there are some basic puzzles initially where you're going to have to push away these crates. And there's also, oh, look at this, sentry guns. Yeah, you can also dodge these. Ow. <laughs> if you're any good, you can dodge them. Let's just say that. Hilariously enough, the first time I did this, I didn't get hit. But all of a sudden now, oh yes, it is the let's play curse. Let us say that. Okay, yeah, anyway, what we're going to need to do over here is we're going to need to get to that switch up the ramp. And we're going to have to turn that on, and that will do a little something in the form of moving those little containers over to the right. And then we're going to be able to walk across there without any issues. And uh, that's kind of the vein of the initial puzzles in the game. You're mostly going to be flicking a switch, and then you're going to have to figure out where you need to go. And there are also these things. Yes, this is a keycard. 
So I'm going to need to figure out where to get that key card from. You're also going to get the ability to attack enemies later on as well. And there are also a wide variety of different materials that you're going to be picking up as well from enemies, from, from crates, boxes and all that stuff. And I've already fought the first boss. I gotta say, I feel like the first boss was a lot of fun. It has that classic... Mm, if you've played any MMORPGs or any RPGs in general where the bosses are actually quite, um, shall we say, interactive, quite dynamic in the way that they do their phases in terms of different attack phases, you know, sometimes a boss will, you know, I mean, let's just say, you know, kind of like Dark Souls in a bit of a way like that, where if a boss gets to a certain amount of HP, then it's going to do something different. Uh, or it's going to uh, switch between two phases and you have to, you know, survive the onslaught of attacks that the boss has at its disposal. And that's exactly what happens with the first boss in this game. So basically it's like this huge disintegration ray thing and you're gonna, well, you're gonna see exactly what happens later on. Ooh, and look at that! We seem to have found the junk sword already. Oh yes, I love it. Yeah. As soon as we get the ability to attack, it is so, so fun. It really, really is. Obviously, we're starting off in a completely unknown land. We have this, this robot companion here called Chap. And, um, and Chap generally is very helpful and kind of tells you a bit... Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a bit of comedic relief between the two characters as well. Look at this beaut! Another man's trash? Is this gal's way to kick some ass? And there we go. So find the former owner of the sword is another one of our quests that we have. A blade that lost its edge a long time ago. Swing it with B and target your enemies with left trigger. Swing it with B, there it is. There's the swinging. All right, so we can now also chop down these obstacles, these wooden obstacles, because we weren't able to do that beforehand. And as you can see, here's an enemy, and we obviously have the ability to now dodge out of their way as well, if I actually could dodge, because let's face it, I, uh, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not particularly good with these controls at the moment. We also have red herbs, you can pick these up, and there are also little... Uh, little health pickups that you can make as well. Obviously, we didn't make that jump because the bridge was a little bit rickety. So we now have the ability to go this way instead, and we're going to have to figure out our, uh, our path forward. Thankfully, I, I actually really like the fact that they've given us a mini-map, because the mini-map actually provides you with a significant amount of insight as to where you need to go. So usually, in these kinds of games, I get lost very easily, and I, I spend, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes just wandering around in the same exact area and not really understanding where I needed to, needed to go next. But in this, I don't have that issue, which I very much like. There we go, green circuit board that still contains precious materials that are still of worth to someone. So later on, these are obviously going to be used as currency, potentially, or crafting materials. I actually have not reached that point in my other save, so I could not tell you, but... Yeah, it's going to be nice to find that out sometime. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over there just yet. Ah, you can see there, there's actually a key card available. All right. So I'm going to go over in this direction. Oh, yeah, I actually think I will go this way. Mm. <laughs> okay, so they actually do not recommend doing this right away, but I'm actually wondering whether I can do it. Ah, no. I can't. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, fine. I understand. I understand. Yes, probably not the best idea for me to try that just yet. So, yeah, what you needed to do is actually pick up a, uh, a piece of equipment that is going to enable you to avoid taking damage from those bullets. I actually thought I would be able to uh, dodge roll through those, but unfortunately not. All right, so we've made our way a little bit a little bit closer to where we need to be, and we can take out that wooden piece right there, open the gate, and then we can make our way over to that new piece of equipment I was talking about. And look, do you see that thing over there? There it is. There goes our hope to find a human in this place. 
I hope it's okay if I borrow this from you for a bit. This should give us some protection against lasers and other crap they throw at us. Alright, so now we have a shield. Yeah, there we go. So that is exactly what I was talking about earlier where I said, oh yeah, it, it, you need that piece of equipment to be able to avoid getting shot by the sentry guns. So hopefully we're going to be able to do that now. And that is going to enable us to retrieve the key card from that particular chest. All right, so here we go. There's my shield up, and we're now going to be able to make our way over here, take out that guy, and now we can wait for our stamina to regenerate. Stamina is not expended from attacking, but it is expended from doing other strenuous actions like dodge rolling and using your shield to block. All right, there we go, and there's the key card. A common key card used for terminals around here opens one low security terminal near this area permanently. All right, which is definitely just over here. So I should be able to go right back and activate with the terminal. And then that's going to open up the gate that allows us to progress onward. Because obviously uh, we were blocked initially from going forward by the wooden barricade. And now that we have this weapon, I should theoretically be able to bypass it without too many difficulties. So let me actually just avoid the enemy there. Just going to try and avoid... Oh, no. Ah, that was close. Okay, that was a bit too close for my liking. We're getting some clutter right there as well. What's that? Ah, more clutter. All right, let's destroy all of these crates here just to make sure that we're not missing out on any... Yeah, look at that. So many green circuit boards. Nice. And then let's move on. Oh, we got three enemies at once here. All right, this might be a little bit problematic. Thankfully, these enemies do take a little bit too long to attack us. So thankfully... We were able to dispatch them way too quickly for them. Very, very nice. And now we can just save here. Got to make sure to save in all these places. You never know whether something is going to happen. And now we have the ability to put this ladder here, which we can then slide down. I recognize this place. Let's check out what's going on. And yeah, indeed, as the main character has just said, she does recognize this place. And as a result, we are now going to be able to progress towards the main area because beforehand we obviously didn't have the ability to do that because we didn't have a sword or anything but now we have a sword and now there are actually enemies in this area too and it looks like we have reached the barricade remember this yeah, yeah well, I mean, I've, I've taken not that long to actually get to this point but the point is you remember this from earlier in the video where we just couldn't get through here and now we can and there you go boom we're right through and we now have enemies and indeed something else waiting for us in the area up ahead. I wonder whether you can tell what it is. It's probably a big, big death laser of some kind that is going to absolutely murder me, wouldn't you say? Yes, it probably is going to be something along those lines, but uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm going to be able to deal with it relatively well this time uh, instead of uh, the last time where I didn't do too, too badly but uh, yeah I actually really like the attack patterns of this boss actually for a first boss I actually felt like it was really interactive and fun to fight it uh, even though you can die very fast but uh, yeah we'll see all right here's the save I really like the fact that they put a save right before here as well so it doesn't waste your time in case you do end up getting disintegrated here we go. Let's hope this will finally get us out of this junkyard. And bam! Hmm. Come on. There's nothing to turn around. What the? Okay, Sleeping Beauty. Want to dance? Let's dance. All right, here we go. So now we're going to have to dodge out of the way of the laser. Oh, that was close. Okay, that was really, really close. And now what we have is the battery coming out of the main housing of the enemy. And you're going to have to murder it. Yes, you're going to have to murder it as fast as you possibly can. Uh, unfortunately, ah, there we go. Whew. I ran out of stamina just at the uh well at the opportune moment i suppose or inopportune depending on what you want but obviously i haven't taken that much damage yet okay so now it's changing its attack pattern so now what it will do is it will actually highlight sections of the uh 
the fighting area, <laughs> my commentary is going to suffer greatly while fighting this thing because my concentration is definitely being taken up quite a bit by this. Anyway, let's just murder the battery. There we go. And now final phase. I'm going to run around once again in an anti-clockwise direction. I have found that that is the best possible way to go because if you go with it, then it's a lot easier to avoid the laser. And as you can see, if you go close to it as well, it's going to make things just that much simpler to defeat. And there we have it. That is the victory. Not bad. <gasps> Whoa, keep it cool. I almost just got fried to a crisp by this gigantic and stupid overwatcher. Overseer, and you show up all cloaky dokey with this way too relaxed attitude. So no, mister, I will not keep it cool. All right, I get it. I'm sorry. So... You're not with them? Them? Dude, I don't even know where I am or who I am. Wait, you... You came down with that ship, right? More like I came crashing down in it, yeah. Are you, Xel? Follow me. Hey, wait up! We should leave this place. It's... It's not safe. Thanks for making that clear. I thought the killer robots were kind of a dead giveaway. They are not our biggest problem. Cool. Can't wait to see what's going to try to kill me next. Thanks for the help, by the way. Back there with that overseer? I didn't do anything. Exactly. Hey, you seem to be able to handle yourself just fine. Yeah, because I have to. So you don't know who you are? Nope, all blank. You remind me of someone I knew who was very much like you. How about... Reed? Get him, Reed. Sure. Whatever, mister. Just Desmond. Hey, I wanted to choose your name as well. All right, go ahead. Now my head is already filled with your actual name. At least something's in there now. <laughs> Rude. Where are you taking me? Coming home. Need a lie. <laughs> I'd obviously go home with someone on the first date. This? I, I wasn't... I mean, I wouldn't... Um, yeah. Relax, Dez. I was just trying to lighten the mood between all this fighting robots business. Oh, what is this? This. This is Needle Eye. Home of the survivors. It's... Wow. Wait till you see it from the inside. So there are more humans after all. I'm sorry if they seem unwelcoming. We don't have the best experiences dealing with outsiders. Outsiders? So that's what you meant when you asked me if I'm with them. Oh, don't you need, like, more proof or something to show that I'm not with those outsiders? No, you're good. How can you be so sure? If you ever meet them, you'll know why. Here we are. This elevator takes us right into the heart of Needle Eye. It's gonna be a long ride, so whenever you're ready, press the button, and I'll be waiting right here for you. Okay, I played your game long enough. What is happening here? And who is Excel? You're looking at it. Wait, you are Excel? No, all of this is Excel. Please, don't go full meta on me. I might not be able to remember a lot from my life, but I have a feeling that I am not a particularly spiritual person. No, I mean, look out of the window. Excel is not a person. It's a space arc. What? Almost 100 years ago, 
Our people had to leave their home planet. Our planet became uninhabitable, and a small amount of the population was sent out to look for a new home. So we are traveling through space right now? Actually, we're not. The Ark stopped functioning properly decades ago. Before I was even born. Wait, so you and your people are living on a stranded spaceship that is floating in space right now? You could say so. Yes. This might be the reason why you crashed into the Ark. Although, I never heard the Elder mentioning anything about space colonies that far out. Do you remember what your home looked like? No, and I don't know if it's the crash, or if this piece of rock stuck in my forehead is messing with my brain. I'm sure the Elder knows a way to help you out. This Elder dude sure sounds like the big cheese of this place. Yeah, he's actually the last person alive to witness the launch of the Ark. Is that guy a blood-sucking undead, or are you keeping him in a jar? How is he still alive? No. None of that creepy stuff. Time works differently here, and maybe he just has some good genes. You have good genes, that's for sure. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing. Here we are. Welcome to Needle Eye, the safe haven of Xel. This place looks really lovely. I like the handcrafted style. This used to be the amusement district for the worker class on the Xel. Workers? So there was a hierarchy on this Ark. Yeah, the Elder can tell you more about this. When I was born, there were only us survivors here in Needle Eye. And the others out there. Wow, every answer you give just raises more questions. How original. I'm really sorry. This must be so much to take in. Let's head to the Elder right away to clear things up. Why don't you go ahead and I'll just check this place out on my own. On my own with my buddy chap here. Are you sure? This place is pretty big. Just tell me where we should meet. The Elder's hut is at the top of the city. You can't miss it. If you get lost, ask around. Just tell them you're with me. Got it. See you, Daz. Don't let me wait too long. All right. Well, personally, I am very impressed that we found such a safe haven so quickly and uh, that they're actually friendly and don't want to absolutely murder us. But yeah, I think I would like to find the Elder's Hut as quickly as possible so let's see if i can actually do that now we do have an upgrading aha uh -huh, yep there is a crafting uh, crafting place here and i'm not entirely sure is there anyone that i can speak to here actually it doesn't seem like it maybe we don't have the ability to do that just yet i mean i can assume maybe we don't because maybe we need to be introduced to the elder first but that is definitely a weapon upgrading station i am pretty sure i mean let's face it right and there's also a shop here so no doubt we're going to be able to sell some stuff ah uh, hello there sir and uh, yeah we can buy some things so obviously you can buy some stuff right here and i'm actually wondering how do we sell that's the question. I actually don't know whether we can sell anything. So, aha, right. Green circuit boards are the currency. Okay, so I only have 13 green circuit boards, which I gotta say is basically nothing. From what I can tell from the uh, from the prices in that shop, he uh, he needs a lot. He, he really needs a lot of green circuit boards, so... I can assume that we're probably going to be getting a whole bunch more of those as we progress into uh, into further into the game. So yeah. Anyway, let me see if I can find the Elder's Hut. There she is. And here we go. I found it. It was actually right next to where I was. Uh, Desmond, <laughs> couldn't stop talking about. Welcome to Needle Eye, child. Um, hi, Mr. Elder, sir. Oh. 
please. You can call me Eskari. Eskari. I don't want to come off like an ass, but this feels like a cult. Is this a cult? Uh, call it whatever you want. But you are welcome here. Uh, Desmond found you and your robotic friend in the abandoned district of the Garden, I heard. Chap found me in a crashed spaceship, but I don't know how I got there. She has no recollection of who she is or even where she comes from, boss. Hey, this is kind of personal info and you just spilled it all in front of your cult. I think it's important to share that piece of information. And this is not a cult. That's something someone in a cult would say. Ah, memory loss. Hmm. Might be a side effect of a hyperspace jump. You must have traveled quite the distance. As I said, I wouldn't know. But I have a question for you, old man. I'm eager to quench your thirst for knowledge. Right, so these crystal pillar thingies on your ship, that emit chronal... Yes, that whole spiel. They give me major headaches. And I think they're connected to the stone stuck in my face. Hmm, what a curious person you are. Is it true that you defeated an overseer? I'm not one to brag, but yeah, I did, and I have the burns to prove it. We might actually be able to help you. And by helping you, you might help us in our direst hour. Mm, this sounds overly dramatic. I love it. I'm in. I told you, she's the person we needed. As you see, we were able to establish a society here that is self-sustainable and uses what the station has to offer. But the engine that keeps everything running is starting to overheat. Hmm. This is causing harm to the very fragile artificial ecosystem that we need to survive. I don't know if I'm much of a fixer-upper, but I sure can whack things. Don't worry about the fixing part. Hmm? You will be responsible for the slice and dice part on this mission anyway. What is the mission, and who is that woman? I like her style. Call me Cheryl. I'm the fixer-upper of this place. Nice to meet you guys. You can call me... Reed, I suppose. And that's Chap. <laughs> What Elder Ascari is trying to say is that this arc is about to heat up to a level where we either combust spontaneously or blow up. Both scenarios are suboptimal. We need to cool down the engine floor ASAP. When you're ready for quite the adventure, meet me at my workshop. I'll head out to secure the area surrounding the wilds. Like you secured me back then with that overseer? H hey, come on. Uh. Good luck, children. The fate of Cell lies on your shoulders. I see. No pressure. Alright, so it seems to me like I now have the ability to speak to Shirl back at her workshop, and that is going to enable me to upgrade my weapons appropriately. And I can only hope that that is the case at least, because that's going to mean I'll be able to deal even more damage, and we might be able to upgrade our shield as well to take less damage or use less stamina or something along those lines but anyway that is going to be it for this episode if you would like to check out the game there is a link in the description as well as a pinned comment down below so i would highly recommend checking it out if you're a fan of link to the past or in general just action fantasy adventures with puzzles and all manners of things and very cool story then by all means do that. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you next time.